Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and I make videos about books and reading and illustrating and in this vlog I'm gonna tell you a bit more about the books that I'm reading and about how I'm preparing for my next shop update because I own a web shop where I sell bookmarks and stickers and other stationary items and I'm busy preparing for a next collection launch with lots of fun new products. So what I've been doing for the past few days is just basically getting everything ready, making sure that all the photos are correct, all the listings, pre-packaging some of the products already so it's easier for me to, you know, wrap and create the orders and pack the orders. So I've been very busy with that, doing videos as well at the same time and listening to an audiobook because yesterday you could see that I picked out a new audiobook to listen to, namely The Lost Bookshop, written by Evie Woods. And what I've been doing recently and just my goal for this year is to read as many of the physical books on my TBR as possible because I've got way too many physical unread books and I just want to read them all. So I'm always trying to find audiobooks of books that I also have on my shelf so, you know, I can read even more of the books on my physical TBR. And I saw that this one is on audiobooks. So I started listening to this one and I'm about 60 or 70% of the way through already and I am loving this. I got this for Christmas from my aunt and I'd never heard of the book before but she just saw it in a bookstore and thought this is probably something for Brit and I'm so glad that she did because I am loving it. So it says how far will you go to find your story? It takes place in two different time periods at the beginning of the 20th century and in our current day 21st century. It says on a quiet street in Dublin a lost bookshop is waiting to be found and then we follow people from the past and people from the present looking for this lost bookshop. It's also about missing manuscripts or lost manuscripts. It's about Shakespeare and company. Hello, we've been a fan guys. So I've just been listening to this one whilst cleaning, whilst working and I feel like this is gonna be a new favorite. I'm just enjoying it so very much. It's one of these perfect book about books, you know? So yes, this was a very great gift. And then the book that I'm physically reading is Stoner by John Williams, which I am also loving. This is about a man called William Stoner. He becomes a teacher at university. He is marrying the wrong woman. And it says when he dies, his colleagues remember him rarely. This is very much about what it's like being a human, what the a reading experience like no other. Stoner tells of the conflicts, defeats and victories of the human race that pass unrecovered by history and reclaims the significance of an individual life. I've read amazing things about this, so I'm very excited to continue reading this. I am nearly halfway through this book. So I'm reading some amazing books right now. I'm very excited. This weekend is also going to be so fun. It's currently Friday evening and it's a quarter past five and it's still light, which means that it's getting lighter again. And like, it's still very much winter, but spring, 
it's somewhere in the distance, which I'm excited about because I do love all the different seasons because I just like the changing of what the world looks like. But I'm kind of done with this winter and with the cold. I'm much more of an autumn person and this is just not it right now. It's a bit too cold. But this weekend, I'm going to be doing some fun things. I'm hanging out with my friend Michelle. We're going out for lunch. I have a birthday party with a friend. And on Sunday, it is time for my big shop update with lots of new products. So just many exciting things. This evening, I'm making some pizza with my boyfriend and just probably watching a film or something. And then, <sighs> yes, it's a weekend. I don't know where my voice is going, but um, I'm still recovering from a very long cold. Okay, I'm gonna have some snacks and enjoy the weekend. Happy Saturday. It is already 5.30 p.m. this morning or this afternoon. I had lunch with one of my best friends, Michelle, which was really lovely. And later today, in like an hour, I'm going over to a birthday party of my friend, Jolene. So I'm just gonna get a quick bite to eat. And as you saw this afternoon, I was making some tomato sauce to do, like to make a lasagna. And I've been listening to The Lost Bookshop in the meantime, and I am loving this book. I am like 90% of the way through, so I am super close to finishing it. I will probably finish it tomorrow. And it is just so good and I'm loving it. So I feel like this might become a five star read. I was also cleaning my apartment and I found this because a few years ago I've been crocheting and I made this kind of bag. It still needs um, like a button, but it's like a book bag. <laughs> And now that I found it, I'm like, I want to crochet again. So maybe I will pick up crocheting because these little granny squares with a few cute flower are just so wonderful. So I'm gonna try to do some more crocheting maybe. I mean, this is quite cute. <laughs> so we've got Stoner, which I have read a bit more from yesterday, actually. I'm on page 110. And this one I'm also kind of loving, so... I'm reading some amazing books at the moment and it's making me very happy. I really hope to finish this one this month still. I'm definitely going to finish um, The Lost Bookshop, but I really do want to finish this one. I haven't read that much more from Arcadia, but because I'm going to um, this party in a bit, I need to be on public transport for like 20 minutes by myself, which means I've got 20 minutes of reading time of Arcadia. I don't think I've told you about this book yet in this vlog. Um, let me grab it. So I also always like to read a bigger book on my Kindle because it reads like much more comfortably, especially when I want to take it with me. And this is one of those books that's been on my shelf for years, that's massive, and that's much easier to read on my Kindle. So this is a, bo a book called um, Arcadia. It's about three interlocking worlds, four people looking for answers. It's kind of like a magical realism-ish book, it takes place in different worlds. There is kind of time travel-ish. I am like 12% of the way through, so not much has happened yet, uh, but I'm very, very intrigued and it's quite magical. So this is the book that I'm reading on my Kindle, which I'll be bringing with me to the party. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do like make a quick bite to eat, go to the party and tomorrow it's time for my shop update, which I'm very excited about, but I'm also a little bit scared because it's always quite frightening and scary doing a shop update because I'm just like, I hope people will like the products and will maybe get a few of the products because it's expensive, <laughs> you know, getting everything made. And yeah, it's always a little bit frightening, but also super exciting. So 
that's something I'm really looking forward to for tomorrow. Oh, and because I said I wanted to do some crocheting again, I got my kind of crochet bag or like creativity bag out of my closet again that is full of yarn and one colors. Oh, I've got, oh wow, I was working on this. What's this? It's just a really big granny square. <laughs> and lots of yarn is in there. There's more. What's this? What is this? I don't remember making this. It looks like a, a weird sort of Christmassy ornament, maybe. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Oh, there's lots of yarn in here. This is a fun one with different colored yarn. Oh, I'm glad I got these. I forgot when I had these. These little markers and lots of crochet hooks and lots of yarn. This is exciting. So maybe I should pick up crocheting again. Um, I don't know when, it's really cute and small as well, but I'll let you know. Monday morning, yesterday evening, I uploaded my entire new collection of bougie goodies on my website. So if you would like to check it out, I even have a cheeky discount code here on YouTube. If you click the link in my description, all the information is there. And I'm just very excited about all the new products and I can't wait to start packing the orders, which I'll be doing in a bit. But first I wanted to just show you um, some of the books that I've been reading because I have finished the audiobook of The Lost Bookshop and it was so good. I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. The entire plot and like these little plot twists and finding out more about this lost bookshop, about the characters, about what they went through when they were younger. The plot was just so cool and interesting and magical and I really, really liked reading about the characters as well. I really felt for them and it's been a long time since I was like so kind of mesmerized by a book and I really wanted to continue reading it because it was just so good. And even though it was quite long, I do think it could have been a little bit shorter, but still it was amazing and the perfect book about books. So I highly recommend this one. So I listened to this on BookBeat and another one that I am now listening to as well on BookBeat, which is my new favorite reading like audiobook app, not sponsored, but if you're from the Netherlands and you would like to check it out for like 60 days, you can listen for free for 60 days. I've got a link in the description as well. It's such an amazing app. The interface works so well, it's super quick and you can even adjust the complete speed of the audiobook. So not just one or 1.2 or 1.5, but literally like 1.55 if you want to. So I'm obsessed with that app and they've got so many books because another book that they've got on there is A Close and Common Orbit by Becca Chambers. This is a second book in the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet series or the Wayfarer series, I believe it's called. And I read the first one over five years ago, I think. So I, I just still hadn't picked up the second book and I saw it's on audio. So what I did is I read a very, very big summary of the first book and then continued with the second one. But I forgot that the second one is actually only about two of the characters in the first book. So it's a completely new story. It's kind of a standalone um, sequel, sort of. So this is a sci-fi. It takes place in space and it says once Lovelace had eyes and ears everywhere. She was a ship's artificial intelligence system, possessing a personality and very human emotions. But when her ship was badly damaged, Lovelace was forced to reboot and reset. Now housed in an illegal synthetic body, she's never felt so isolated. So it's about Lovelace now becoming kind of you know, being able to move in this body, meeting new people around the galaxy, together with Pepper, who's an engineer who was also in the previous book. And you follow between Lovelace's and Pepper's point of view, and Pepper was born as Jane 23, part of a slave class created by a rogue society of genetic engineers. So it's about Pepper, who used to be Jane 23, and Lovelace, who is now a new reset artificial intelligence robot basically and i'm about 15 percent of the way through right now i'm enjoying it lots becky chambers is amazing at writing characters that you really feel for 
it's probably going to be quite a character-driven book again because the first one was also super super character-driven but I loved it so I'm very excited about this book. But as I said it's Monday morning, today I'm going to be working in the Swan Market store in The Hague so I'm going to restock the store again finally because it's been so long since I've last been there. The last time I worked there was like at the beginning of December so I haven't restocked in a very long time so I'm excited to go there and do lots of crocheting because I've been crocheting so much. <laughs> I've been crocheting all these little hearts. So I thought it's for Valentine's Day. Maybe I can sell these little hearts. It's like a cheeky little Valentine's Day gift in the stall. So <laughs> I made two different kind of displays for the stall. One of them is this, a little Valentine's Day, handmade crochet Valentine's Day heart. So I crocheted all of these fun hearts, but then I also had a few black, uh, I had some black wool or yarn, and I thought, <laughs> let's do a handmade, I need to put this little thingy on here, a handmade crochet, I don't care about Valentine's Day heart. So these are all little black hearts for people who don't really like Valentine's Day, but maybe still want to give a little cheeky, gift to their valentine in the, without it being like a oh, cutesy pink little black heart. So I've been crocheting so much. I made all these and these in the past uh, two days. So I am loving this and I can't wait to do more crocheting and maybe actually make something for myself that I can wear. But I need to start work. I've only got like two and a half hours left before I need to go to the shop. So let's start packing orders. Wednesday everyone. I've got quite a few updates. First of all, as you can see, I have been crocheting. I have made three of those skinny scarves and I'm loving it so much. I am going crazy. I was like, let's just try it out. And then the first time I tried making this one and it completely failed. I was just missing stitches here and there and it just didn't look nice, so I decided to create like a pattern or use a pattern that had these holes in it and it looks so much nicer right now. So I've made this one and then this one, which is my favorite and also a very, very skinny one with even bigger holes and I'm loving this so much. Like I'm making something and then I can wear myself. So right now I'm also working on just a white one with a very simple, just double crochets without bigger holes like this, but just, I'm loving it. <laughs> so I've been crocheting like crazy. And because I've been doing that so often, like so much yesterday in particular, I managed to finish this entire audiobook because crocheting and listening to audiobooks is the perfect combination. So I have finished this entire audiobook and I enjoyed it a lot. I'm, I'm like I think I'm gonna give it like 3.75 out of 5 stars but the thing is I was missing some of the characters because from the first like in the first book you have so many characters that I absolutely love and in this book you only follow a couple which I thought was a shame because I really really liked the characters in the first book so I wish it would have just been a series that is not like a standalone series that you can read as a standalone but a series with all the same characters. Um, so I still thought it was brilliant and really fun and she, Becky Chambers is really amazing at writing characters but I just like the first one more but it was definitely a fun one and I'm also going to read the third one for sure but yeah it was not amazing, but just really fun. And lastly, in Stoner, I am just over halfway through the book. I wanted to finish this one this month, but today is the last day of the month. So I don't think I'll be able to finish this, which is okay because this month, 
I have read so many books. It is crazy. 12 books. How? Okay, well, of course I know how because many were audiobooks. I read half of them as audio, so six audiobooks, then three ebooks, and three physical books. <laughs> this feels so good. That also means that right now, let me check how many physical books I've still got left on my TBR because I keep tracking it, like I keep track of it in Notion. 80 books left on my TBR, and I started out this year with 92, which of course makes sense, but I also the in after book, but also read a book that I already read before. So that's why, you know, it's still 12. <sighs> that's amazing. I'm feeling very good, but I am going to end this vlog here. I am just so grateful for the shop update, for all your orders. Thank you so much. I also can't wait to crochet more and I'm very excited for next month and all the books I'll be reading because I am feeling good. I'm in such a good reading mood. I'm excited about like new projects like this. And I'm definitely going to crochet some more. I honestly, this like, it adds so much to your outfit. <laughs> I'm loving it. Let me know if you've ever crocheted before or if you like found a new hobby recently and just what you've been loving because I would like to see that. Or I'd like to see, maybe see, you can share it on Instagram or I'd like to hear it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this video. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment one of these yarns, wool, balls, <laughs> thingies, um, because I've been crocheting a lot. So I have lots of these. I bought a few <laughs> because these are really, really cheap ones from Zeeman in the Netherlands and they are so amazing. So I can make a lot of skinny scarves and maybe book bags or something. So yeah, comment one of these yarn emojis. Okay, thank you again so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.